Yeah, day seven, welcome. The art of beekeeping. Beekeeping is more than just a hobby, it's an art form. We'll explore the creative side of beekeeping and share some of our favorite bee themed crafts with you. The art of bees spans the ages, from cave paintings by early humans to minted coins, stamps, blockbusters by the same name of Bee Movie, multiple documentaries from around the world by channels and organizations like BBC, Discovery Channel, National Geographic, to lesser known producers like DW News and YouTube. But the fun side, the extra fun side for young and hard is kids art. There's many templates and examples of different art projects for making bees like using straws and the inside of toilet rolls. And here's a brilliant example of bees building amazing comb patterns with the help of actual artists like Thomas who created the Nefertiti head and other classic wax sculptures like this vase in the description below. And then we've also got the Manchester City ran a bee sculptor competition back in 2018 helped to drive awareness of bees. And then we have an amazing visual arts exposition. Using beeswax comes in all shapes and sizes and styles. Check out Penelope's beeswax work, link in the reference description below. An entire room of beeswax sculpted walls, which was amazing with different patterns and smells and everything. And from there we go to candle making. Now, did you know a candle maker is actually also known as a chandler back, back from the Middle Ages? And at the beeswax store in Centurion, we hand pour over 10 different stunning designs of places, characters and pillar styles that work for beauty and decor as well as burn for long hours without having any petroleum in them or any other uh, artificial chemicals. So just beeswax and cotton wick, so amazing, right? And then we get on to the coins with bees and hives. Uh, and there's been a long celebration recognition of bees in minting art across time and the globe. Check out these examples from as far away as Australia and back in time to the ancient times. Uh, we're talking like 387 to 270 BC where there's the Ephesus bee with a stag on it as well. Then there's also the Mormon gold uh, $5 coin which was uh, minted in Salt Lake City, Utah between 1849 and 1860. Apparently this is one of the highest in rarity because only about 100 of these were actually minted and a well-worn example sold for over $36,000 in a recent European auction. It's the design of a beehive among flowers, surmounted so by an eagle appears on the current state flag of Utah as well. Uh, so amazing pictures of, of, of coins out there. But anyway, also moving on from coins, we have beehive hotels. Now, a lot of these are actually created in terms of just painting the exterior of an existing hive, which you can see at the moment. And, uh, and then you end up having phenomenal designs that were done like the Mac Hive, which was actually a design and built by award-winning set designer Nicholas Nielsen. It's fully functioning hive, just like our beehive hotels, which you see now in, in, in the video, which we sell from the shop in Centurion itself. And these are also functioning, custom-made designed uh, beehive hotels, we call them. And they're phenomenally beautiful and stunning. So if you want to purchase one of these, check out the link in the description below. There's also jewelry, pendants, earrings, all these sort of things that can be added in addition to, to actually using art as a way to support beekeeping and bees even without keeping bees like this porcelain sculpture of a bee fetching over a thousand pounds for sale. We also have things like encosting painting which is essentially using beeswax, melted beeswax to paint with. And you can see examples here that are quite beautiful. You heat the beeswax and you use your trowels or brushes to paint with it. And this has gone back for centuries as well in terms of art and style. And finally, you know, there are tons of historical uh, elements out there and examples of bees in, in pottery and all sorts of things that have been done over the years. We just don't have the ability to show them all to you in this video. But thanks for joining us today. We look forward to seeing you on the next episode. It'll be episode number eight. So do the, do the thing. Subscribe, like and share with your friends and then we can keep making videos just like this one see you on the next one ciao for now